Hey, what's going on family? General Tony here, coming back with the first sneak peek of the day. Well, the only sneak peek of the day. So yesterday, we were privileged to see the new hero, the Grand Warden, on attack. But now, today, in this sneak peek, we are going to have the privilege to see him on defense. So I haven't even watched this footage yet. I've just got this footage. So let's see what this update, what this new hero is all about. So for those of you who didn't know, basically what the Grand Warden does when he goes onto defense is turn into a tower. So you could say he has many similarities to that of a wizard tower, except there's going to be one huge difference. So here we go, getting ourselves into some gameplay. Now watch this guys, check the actual hero in the center, the new Grand Warden. There is an attack about to be placed on this base, and as soon as the attack comes in, he goes into his defensive mode, and he turns into that tower. It's like a statue, so it's nothing like that of a wizard tower. He's not actually moving, and what he does, he has two different abilities. So of course, just like a standard tower, he does have the ability to shoot, except the distance in which he shoots, I believe, isn't really that far. So I, I think it's a little bit smaller than the wizard tower, but it's not really about that, guys. It's about his main ability, that defensive aura, that health aura. So you know, on attack, you can see he's just being placed at the top of the base on attack you can see he's got that radius around him and within that radius all of the troops have like a hp boost so on defense you have a defending clan castle you've got your barbarian king your archer queen and of course your three skeleton traps if you are town or 10 or of course town or 11 now basically if you put all of those things inside of the actual radius of the defensive grand warden then you are going to have a hp boost on your defensive heroes your defensive clan castle and your skeleton traps it is pretty damn insane now when thinking about it, if you if you just imagine this, imagine you've got that new Grand Warden on defense, you've got that new Eagle Artillery and the new four defenses, so the new Wizard Tower, new Cannon, new Archer Tower and new Expo. I'm, I'm thinking that Town Hall 10s are going to get messed up. I mean, are they even going to be able to one-star at Town Hall 11? That is the question. Not alone, not only a two-star, are Town Hall 10s going to be able to get a one-star? Because if they're not, man, trophy pushing is going to change so damn much. Everyone that can afford to gem is going to gem and just crush all the other players. And it could really unbalance the game. So I'm thinking Supercell, yeah, you better, you better make sure you got this right, guys. Because this could be really dodgy. I was reading a load of comments in the comment section on my videos and other YouTubers videos about how Town 11 can seriously have a strong possibility of damaging war for at least the first month when this update is released. And it's so damn true because if a Town 11 is on the attacking side, sorry, on the opposite team, and you don't have a Town 11, they're going to be able to have the potential to easily 3 star your two top max Town 10s, even if they're maxed out level 40 heroes, there is going to be a potential for a 3 star there. So check this guys, that is the defensive Grand Warden, the Golem, it's doing a bit of damage to the golem but i wouldn't say it's overpowered i would say that is pretty much perfect and of course that is the aura that is the radius so if you've got your heroes your skeletons and of course your clan castle inside of that then it will be protected now there is the attacking grand warden took the defensive one down pretty damn easy and i would say it's pretty well balanced so far from what we can see from that footage so there we have it guys, that was the short and sweet sneak peek, that is the final sneak peek for this brand new hero, now there are apparently three more sneak peeks, so we can expect the update maybe Wednesday, Thursday, maybe even Tuesday, who knows, don't forget to smash that like button down below if you are extremely hyped for this update, the sneak peeks seem to be getting better and better now, as we're ending near the end of the two week schedule, so don't forget to sub to this channel right now as well guys, for two COC videos every single day, I will see you very shortly with another episode guys, maybe a zero to hero, there are going to be three episodes today, so stay tuned to the channel. I love you all. Peace out.